complex reads. So in today's video, I want to do something different. This is going to be a series that I'm starting on my channel. It is called First Time Reading. It's really self-explanatory. I'm going to be reading and discussing authors that I have read for the first time. I have been on this kick for about maybe about two weeks now where I have actually been reading outside of my comfort zone and also been reading classic literature and you guys know how much I have talked about <laughs> how I'm not really a fan of like typical classic literature because it can kind of be a bore but I have found some literature and I've been researching I came to share it with you guys but I have been researching and finding literature that is not a bore that's how I've been able to navigate when it comes to classics. You got to find one that got that, like I always say, that drama and that tea, and I have found some. But in this first time reading, I'm going to be talking about Ernest Hemingway. Now I know of him, so I said, you know what, I want to read his first novel. I know his first book he came up with was a collection of short stories, but I said, let me read his first novel and see, you know, what it's about. And that first novel of his was The Sun Also Rises. Now, also, I love this edition because this is a signature classics edition. You can get these from Barnes & Noble for about 10 bucks. And I also love the cover, too. It's a buttery feel. So I read this off the jump. It was a no man for me. In the beginning, it looked like I had hope that I was going to like it, but it, it kind of went downhill from there. And how I did navigate it is I also had the audiobook. And while I was doing some research on him, I watched some videos here on YouTube and they were videos of where to start with him. And a lot of people said this book, because it is easy to navigate and not only is it easy to navigate, it is short. It's only like a little bit over 200 pages. I'm like, okay, I can deal with that. And I know also to a lot of his books, it deals with like war and bullfighting and things like that. And sometimes war novels can just be a bore to me. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not even go. I'm not going to, I'm not even going to put myself in an unnecessary reading slump. So I didn't, I went with this and I am glad I went with this. Now this has, but what? The main three characters the first character is jake burns he is a journalist he was also enlisted in the war and <laughs> something kind of bad happened to him when it comes to his sexual life then we have robert cohen he is a successful novelist he's working on his second book he's having a kind of hard time with it he was married had two children they describe him as a very sensitive man. He was a boxer in college. And then lastly, for a female protagonist, you have Lady Britt Ashley. And she is so eccentric, it don't make no sense. Also, she kind of a little fast thing, okay? I don't know how many men she has been with, okay? And when I tell you, these men was fighting over her, and I'm like, I do not know why, because she just irritated the mess out of me, okay? <laughs> I don't even, eccentric is not even the right word for her. I don't even know how to describe her, okay? And this novel is set in Paris and then it's in like three parts, I believe. And the first part you get to know about the characters. The second part, they all say, they all say, well, you know what? We're gonna go to Spain. We're gonna go to this bullfighting like festival and some more drama. And again, dealing with Lady Britt Ashley. And then the last part is like the aftermath of the fiesta. That's basically it with this book. I don't have any good tea or anything just insightful to tell you guys because it was kind of like, oh, can you hurry up? Now, in the beginning, his writing kind of remind me a little bit of F. Scott Fitzgerald. But then I'm like, uh, if I'm being honest, I like F. Scott Fitzgerald better. I mean, Great Gatsby is one of my favorite, you know, novel. Now, will I read Ernest again? Right now, it's a hard no. Mm -mm. Because if I didn't have that audiobook, I probably would have DNF'd it. I just really wanted to get through it because I really wanted to say I read an Ernest Hemingway book, gave it a try, and I did. I gave it a try and I finished it. So I'm like, that's the best you can do, Lex. That's all I'm gonna do so yeah now i do know there is a movie with this and 
I think I might watch it. I do know that the character Lady Britt Ashley, she's played by Ava Gardner. And no shade to Ava Gardner, but I don't see her playing this. I don't see her playing her. And then I watched the trailer and Britt Ashley's supposed to be British and she doesn't have an accent. Then I was looking up more tea. He didn't like that movie at all, okay? He dogged it. He said he stopped watching it after about 20 minutes. And this book was published in 1926, I believe. And the movie came out in like the late 1950s, like 1957 or whatever. But he, he couldn't stand it. Again, I just saw the trailer. So I'm going to watch it and see if I like it or not. I mean, I like old Hollywood movies, so I can, you know, take it. Yeah, guys, that is it for my first time reading. Cannot wait to share with you guys more books that I am going to be reading. And when I tell you the one I'm reading now is so, so good and juicy. Again, I told y'all, I've been finding and researching books that got that tea and that drama that we love, okay? And then I'm able to kind of modernize it in my mind. So that's how I'm able to navigate it. And I wait to share it with you. So that's all I have for you guys. And I'll be back with more black books. Bye.